Hello Super Set Maniacs and welcome back to my channel. So while Nick Walker has consolidated himself as a threat to the Olympia title winning the Arnold Classic this past weekend, we are comparing him to the top Olympia finishers from last year. We already had Nick vs Rami and Nick vs Brandon on the channel and now it's Phil Heath's turn. However, Phil's version from that show, the 2020 Olympia, was definitely not one of his best. He himself has admitted that he missed his peak. So I chose other version for uh, him for this comparison. I thought it could be interesting to compare Nick's Arnold Classic physique to a Phil Heath Arnold Classic version, the one from 2010 to be more exact, which for many people is Phil's actual best shape of all time in spite of uh, placing only second to Kai Green at that show. So in this video we're gonna see Phil Heath Arnold Classic 2010 versus uh, Nick Walker Arnold Classic 2021 and without further ado, let's get to the poses. First pose is the front double biceps and right from the start we can see why Phil Heath is called the gift. He's narrow indeed but look at the roundness and fullness he presents everywhere. His arms, his legs, chest, quads, incredible. And the conditioning man, he's no less conditioned than Nick Walker here, but Nick benefits from a genetically thinner skin, most probably, which gives the illusion that he's drier. Or indeed, he may, he may be a little drier, who knows. The idea is that Phil is in great condition as well. Nick is wider, but so is his waist. He's got the pickier biceps, but Phil has the longer biceps and the more detailed arms overall. This pose could go either way, but I'm going with Phil. Front lat spread and believe it or not, Phil is winning this pose as well. He's much narrower, but having the narrower waist as well and the way bigger lats that gives him the way better V taper. A way better V taper than Nick Walker. Nick's waist look, uh, looks uh, pretty bad in this pose, we have to be honest. It doesn't matter if you look at the pictures or the video footage, you'll see the same thing. If he would improve on uh, his lats and control the midsection better, with the help of his wider structure, he could beat Phil Heath. But as they look here, it's Phil Heath all day, at least for me. Side chest, and I'm sure some of you Nick Walker die-hard fans would call me a Phil fanboy by now, but how can you go against Phil Heath in this pose? It's true, the camera angles are in Phil's advantage, but still, look at the fullness and details he presents at the same time. It's not that Nick Walker doesn't look incredible, but there's not a single part he beats Phil Heath in this pose at, in my opinion. Phil has the better delt arm separation, the fuller arms, the way better chest, and he also wins the lower body. That hanging hamstring is something else. Phil Heath wins the side chest. Back double biceps and more bad news for Nick Walker, in spite of his incredible back double, but we're talking prime Phil Heath here, one of the greatest of all time. Walker has the width on his side and the bicep peaks. Anything else is Phil Heath in my opinion. The thickness, the roundness, the separation, the details, both upper body and lower body. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of uh, Heath from the Nick Walker uh, army in the comments below, but this is just how I see things and it doesn't mean I'm right. Rear lat spread and man, what can I say? Nick is wider than Phil obviously, but Phil Heath always managed to beat wider guys in his incredible career. He's got that unmatched roundness and thickness that just exposes everyone else when standing next to him. And I know, uh, I know this ain't the clearest picture for Nick Walker, but not even the highest resolution photo could help him here in this pose against Phil Heath. Phil Heath wins this pose as well. Before you guys dislike this video, unsubscribe and leave my channel, I am aware that Nick is still very very young, he's uh, like 27 right? So I'm not saying he's not gonna be able to beat Phil in some of these poses, but as he looked at the Arnold this year, and he looked wow, don't get me wrong, 
He left no chance to the opposition, but uh, he is no match to a prime field hit just yet. And we move to the side triceps and for those of you who managed to get here at this point in this video, I think I'm gonna lose you too because by the looks of it, Phil takes this one as well. I mean Phil is winning the poses not because Nick looks bad but because Phil is so damn impressive guys. I mean look here, look at his uh, popping chest and ripped abs, check out that round and thick lateral head. I cannot go against Phil here no matter how impressive Nick would look. Abs and thighs and man, Phil in his prime was impressive in this pose as well. He had a tight and ripped midsection, however not the most eye-pleasing abs. Nick Walker is wider but also blockier, however due to his superior lats and better ab development, I'm gonna give uh, him this pose. Nick Walker wins his first pose in this comparison guys. Most muscular and it's hard to go against Phil in this pose. The only thing you can take away from him is uh, his narrowness, which in this pose makes his chest look small. However, his chest pops way better than Nick's. Nick looks to be having the fuller delts, at least from these angles, but Phil wins the arms. Nick looks drier, Phil is fuller. I guess this pose could go either way. I can understand those who prefer Nick, but personally, I would go with Phil in this pose as well. In conclusion, the final score is 7-1 for Phil Heath. Nick Walker only managed to get the abs and thighs against Phil, at least in my opinion. Phil Heath was flawless in 2010, he was thick and round everywhere, as well as very conditioned. The only thing you could take away from him in 2010 is his narrowness, the only major flaw in his prime. What do you guys think about this comparison? Let me know in the comment section below. Also like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel and as always, thank you guys and see you next time.